Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 80, 89 here on season one. Woo! Ten more days and this thing is going to be completely renovated. Wow. Haven't even, like, started, so it's going to be, like, go time over the next couple days. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive into the question. And this comes from Looney3232, or maybe it's Looney3232. But anyways, he's asking about a uh, ETF called, or the ticker is MUB. So he says, what do you think about the MUB ETF? So first of all, like what the heck is the MUB ETF? So this is, um, this is iShares National Mun Municipal Bond ETF. Um, on Stash, you know it as Public Works. But why, like what's so, so important about it? So this... <laughs> Excuse me. ETF exposes you to a broad range of municipal bonds. Um, you get access to over 2,000 municipal bonds in a single fund, and you can use it to seek tax exempt income as well. So, if you're like, okay, great. So, for the majority of those ETFs, those are going to be mostly, or for the most of those bonds, they're going to be held in California and New York. They make up about 50% of, of that, and then every other state is like about under 10 so ranging between 5 and 10 but most of them are going to be um california and new york municipal bonds um so you're like okay great that's 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 what it is uh um the total return so this is where you know you're like okay great so this is what it does what's the, what am i how am i going to make my money back if i make an investment or am i going to make money so for one year, so the one year return on that is actually negative 1.1, negative 1.01%. So if you're investing just for a year, you're not going to make money. However, three year is 2.90%. The five year is actually lower than the three year, which is 2.72% return. And since inception, which I think was like seven years ago or so, it is 4.07%. So you're looking at roughly inflation on that which is going to be pretty standard with investing into government type bonds so those are municipal bonds so state and um, city bonds however it's like you're still going to get about the same return as in buying like government um nat like national government bonds as well so the however the dividend payment on this is actually um 2.20 percent so right now the stock price is at 111 um so you're looking at roughly two dollars and forty five cents a year it's what you're going to make back just in dividends off that so you're looking at probably 2.2 percent i don't know if the total return includes the dividend payment so if it doesn't you're looking at for a three year you're looking at about 5.1 percent return um but if you're if it does include it then you're not really looking at anything more than three percent so um the stock price, yeah, is $111.50 um, about. Uh, if you were just to buy that and hold it for 44 years, 44 and a half years, you would make your entire original investment back. So the nice thing is, is that in 44 years, you would double your investment. So you would have $222 in there. So I guess long term, like, yeah, it wouldn't be such a bad idea if you were just to buy and hold. However, you got to take into consideration inflation and all that other kind of stuff. So that's the only thing. That's my only reason that I'm skeptical about it is that I would not use this as the main source of my portfolio that I'm trying to make money off of. So um, a few like historical facts just from the charts and that kind of stuff. This ETF has a pretty steep dip every one and a half to two years. So right now it's about we're about one year into it so i would expect to dip here in the next half a year to a year um and it's going to drop probably ten dollars and then it'll probably start to rise again i don't know why that is if that's has to do with election time or when bonds and stuff are getting voted on or what what it exactly is but it does dip every one and a half to two years so just be prepared for that it'll it, from what i've seen it does always return, so it's it's not really that big of a deal. And plus, it's municipal bonds, so they're going to be pretty safe anyways. It's not like you're going to lose your entire investment. So this investment is very conservative, and because inflation is at three percent, it's it's a safe like storehouse. 
So it's a safe place to put your money and kind of accrue that interest and just, you know, help hedge against the inflation, even though you probably won't beat it. But as if you want to build long term wealth, then you need to diversify into ETFs that are actually holding in stocks. And um, either you can do small stock, small company stocks, big company stocks, and I would actually recommend doing both in different markets and all that kind of stuff so that you can get your 8, 9, 10, 11, 15% return year to year instead of having a 3% return or a negative 1% return over the last year. So typically what I would do if I was to hold this in my account, which right now I do, I would take, um, if it was in my stash retire account, I would allocate probably about 25% into these kind of ETFs. So there's more than just public works. This is a municipal bonds, but I would do like part my cash, Uncle Sam, one of those and um, allocate 25% of my account to those. But if you're new, I would do 50% so at least your money is safe. And if you're like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, then you can go below 50% of it and still have some money that's still making you money. So 25% into these kind of bonds just to keep it safe. And if your other account, if your other like, 75% goes up to 80%, then sell 5% and put it back into those bonds and let it sit there until those until those stocks start dwindling down and drop to like 65%, 70%, sell off 5% here, put them in there, boom. Now you're generating more wealth like that. So anyways, I think that if you're like, is it a safe investment? Like hands down, safe investment. Like I don't think you're gonna make as much money as you would like off of it. However, it's a safe investment. That money's, I will... Like I could lay money on it, but in my personal opinion, that money should be there in 40 years from now. So if you're like, okay, it's it'll keep it safe, that's pretty much what you're gonna get when you put it into a savings account anyways, is they're, they're able to pay you because they have um, government bonds as well that are giving them interest, so they give you a little bit, a cut of that interest as well. So I hope that makes sense. Um, thank you for the question, Looney3232. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into the question of the day, and that is, are you sunrise, daylight, twilight, or night? I think that I'm night. Um, I don't know what twilight is. I think twilight's like at, at, at like midnight, right? So I'm more like a twilight slash night kind of person. Um, I'm not definitely not a sunrise. The only reason why I get up early is because that's when the stock market opens. So I have to be up early. And it's like I wake up and, and trade for like an hour and then I'm out, out of sleep again. So I wake up, put in my stop losses, all my numbers, so that kind of stuff, and then boom, back to sleep. So I'm definitely not a sunrise or um, daylight kind of person. I'm like a twilight night. I feel like I'm most productive at night. But anyways, I hope that that helps you answer that question. <laughs> These questions are so random. Anyways, uh, if you guys have any questions regarding Stash, Acorns, or Robinhood, or just you know ETFs on there, go ahead and post them down below, and I will get them on the next episode. If you guys have any questions regarding uh, general investing advice, uh, coaching, business, or Etsy, feel free to post them down below, and I will get them on the next episode as well, I guess. But anyways, until next time, don't forget to subscribe up here and check out the top three ETFs on Stash Retire in this cool video right about here. And until next time, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.